What is community capacity building? Communities come in all shapes and sizes, from neighbourhoods, towns and villages, to groups who share a common interest, such as older people and minority groups. When people come together to form a community group or network, they bring with them a wide range of experiences, knowledge, skills and resources, sometimes known as assets, which help them to address their shared issues and concerns. The extent to which they can do this is called community capacity. Communities with capacity can, for example, run clubs for events for social benefit and mutual support, manage our own community centres that offer social and learning activities, mount campaigns that address important issues, help inform and improve public services, and in some cases provide services which are for the people, by the people. A strong, vibrant community will have a range of groups and networks who work together with their wider community to tackle shared issues. The process usually involves finding out what issues really matter, what effect they have on the community, and how best to work towards shared solutions that benefit all. An important part of this process is supporting people to take part by removing barriers. For example, actively encouraging those who don't usually have a voice or who feel particularly excluded to take part, using straightforward language that people understand, or offering practical support like out-of-pocket expenses to attend or travel to meetings. Many communities, particularly those that face disadvantage, look for support to help increase their capacity, support that helps them to organise and to build on their existing strengths. The aim is to provide support so that communities are better able to achieve change. This support is called community capacity building. So what does it look like in practice? Organised communities will usually need resources in order to take action on issues. This may be access to people, advice, information, buildings, equipment or funds, for example. Communities may also need support to develop processes for collective action so that they can make sure they're inclusive, that they work together to represent their community and that they're better able to influence local decisions. Learning from and building on these processes is a vital step for communities in building their own capacity. Many policies rely on strong communities. Some already exist, but others will require community capacity building support to play an equal part in shared decision making. Public bodies and grant making bodies have a responsibility to make sure that happens. They can do this by supporting community groups, particularly those that are disadvantaged or excluded, to develop their skills, confidence, resources and influence that build their capacity. Community capacity building matters because it is ultimately community organisations that have the biggest stake in making a difference in their community. They are the community. If we want to improve the quality of life for our communities, then we must find ways to provide the support and resource needed for community groups and organisations to bring about the change they want to see. To find more about community capacity building, visit scdc.org uk forward slash community capacity building. This storyboard was brought to you as part of the People Powered Health and Wellbeing Programme. For more, visit pphw.alliancescotland.org.uk.